Hello everyone, my name is Ferris Faren and welcome back to Rakuen. Last time we started with Kisabu's story and he told us we should go with his wife, so we went to his wife and his wife said, hey, can you bring this tea sample to this person, Monsieur Bot? And now we're trying to find a thief. So there is a thief. So I don't know if we'll find him, but what's happening? Where is everyone? The party rooms have been locked up for the evening. I have to go to the kitchen, I forgot. Mom, what was that? I don't know, dear, but it sounded like it was coming from up ahead. Should we keep going? We gotta press on if we want to find out who is the thief, really is. <laughs> oh. Oh. That's a uh, huge ass fridge. That's the biggest refrigerator I've ever seen. Ah, what is in there? I don't know, dear, but you'd better stay close to me. Good goodness gracious, Monsieur, have you been sleep eating again? Yeah, it was the Monsieur all along. Mystery solved. I knew you guys could do it. Well, I suppose. Well, I suppose that's a huge weight off my shoulders. He ate that. Man, he needs a nice voice. Ah, you're here. We are all delighted you could make it, especially the monsieur. Thank you. In exchange for helping us solve our little problem. He he he. Maxwell. Uh, Sir, da. We could love. We would love to repay you somehow. As you know, we have all sorts of specialty items from around the world. So just say the word and it's yours. Well... There's one thing we'd really like. Oh? Would you want to try a sample of our tea? It's actually our friend Kazuko's tea. But it's the best tea in all the forest. Hmm... The best tea, you say? While I find it incredibly difficult to believe, I will permit this request. Pending one thing. I would need to sample the tea first. You know, for safety reasons. Oh, but of course. We have plenty to share. Well, in that case, I should be able to permit your request. Where is this tea of which you speak? Right here, sir. You pour Rupert the cup from the Gourd of Midnight Tea. That flavor, it's so... Uh, so good! Oh, so crumble! <laughs> Don't worry, this happens a lot. He'll come back once he composes himself and grabs another wig. <laughs> yes, more power than the wigs than Beethoven. There he is. Ahem. Where was I? Ah yes, so this tea is very high quality indeed. You have my permission to share it with Monsieur Bot. <laughs> Your tea for me? Yes, Monsieur. A very delightful blend from... Where is this tea from again? It's from Kazuko at the Midnight Tea Shop. It's from the Midnight Tea Shop, sir. I love it! We must get more! Amazing! Yeah, Monsieur likes it! Needless to say, we are all very impressed. 
Rest assured, we'll be buying lots of tea from the Midnight Tea Shop. Yay, thank you so much. Thank you. You and your mother are, are both welcome here anytime. Thank you, Rupert. I'm really gonna miss you guys. You're like, well, you're like the cousins I never had. The cousins you never... The cousins that are my cousins, my real cousins. Hmm. Oh. So don't be strangers, okay? Come visit us anytime. You can stay in my room. Oh, and here's a little present. Something to remind you of the Skylands. You received Celestial Marble. Huh. Farewell, strange creatures from across the sea. See you later, sugar baby. I, I still... I, his name is still amazing. It's unbelievable. Wow. And... We found the thief. Pretty interesting. Which means... We should have enough materials as well. I can't believe I missed that, but... We still have two marbles, but let's check it later on when we have to go to Sue. I don't think we have to go to Sue yet. It's still Tony Tony. Oh, oh, Tony Tony. Now we can get a pickaxe, and with the pickaxe, we can uh, get the dragon ash. Welcome back, guys. What can I do for you? Pickaxe. One moment, please. And we got a pickaxe. Here is your new pickaxe! Yes. Which means... We can explore more stuff now. First of all, I want to get this. You found an onion air freshener. Interesting. Um, let me think. Where... I forgot, where was the... Where was Kisaburo again? I actually forgot it. I forgot where Kisaburo was. But... I remember... Yes, now we can... Uh, before we go to Kisaburo... I know we need stone, so I just take them both. I bet you thought that I'd be afraid of you, but I'm not. You're still in the ground. I'm only 85% in the ground. I'm not coming fully out because my body gets cold easily. I have really bad circulation. Uh, why aren't you afraid? Life's too short. I've... If I ducked into my hole every time something new came near me, I'd miss out a lot of things. So, even though my body stays underground, my face and my eyes have so many new experiences. That's cool. Ah, uh, that's cool. Oh, that's it. You found the... the Keeper CD. So, I don't know if it's important for me finding all the items. But at some point we will do that. At some point we will try to find all the items. If it's necessary, you know. If not, it's perfect moment for you all to check it out. Really, get the game. I recommend it. And I checked the singer is the same um, from To the Moon. Remember the game To the Moon? I'm actually gonna um, make a video, a separate video about To the Moon. It's a beautiful game. I've only played the, the first two the moon. I haven't played all of them in a way. So I'm pretty hyped about that. Okay, now we go back to Kisabu's forest. Yes. 
I think we we came the same way like this. Let's see. Oh, we need a dragon ash. Because now we can actually get to it. Except there is like a new puzzle in there. Then this will take. No. What brings you to my domain? Wow. What are you staring at, child? I'm sorry, it's just I've never seen a real dragon before. Well, that's because we are not very common around these parts. You're so cool. Yes. Tell me, child, what is that you need? What do you do here? I'm a water dragon, so it is my job to regulate the waterways and clouds. It tries to keep everything in balance and make sure the forest gets the water it needs. Uh, do you have dragon ash? I can make dragon ash, if that's what you mean. I'm a dragon after all. How do you make it? Is it hard to do? You're just full of questions, aren't you, child? Sorry. It's quite alright. Dragon ash is the byproduct of dragon fire. Of course, we all have different kinds of fire. Mine is really more like ice. It's not difficult to do. However, creating fire requires a lot of concentration. And your natural element, mine being water, of course, must be in balance. I see. Unfortunately, if you haven't noticed, things around here have not been in balance lately. Besides the increase in negativity, Negative energy coming from the envoy, I can sense that something is blocking the flow of water. If something isn't done, the whole forest could go into a massive drought. That's terrible. I know. Hmm. Maybe we could help clear away whatever's blocking the water. If we did that for you, would you make us some dragon ash? Ha! Huh. You really want that dragon ash, don't you? It's for our friend Kazuko. She said it would help her flower bloom. Oh, is that right? Kazuko certainly does know a thing or two about gardening. She's trying to grow a hikaribana, isn't she? Yes, how'd you know? Oh, a dragon knows many things. Uh huh. Okay then, if you clear the waterways, I will make you some dragon ash for Kazuko. Thank you. Take this, if there are boulders blocking the flow of water, you should be able to strike it with this. You received some scale flint. But be careful, scale flint is known to cause large reactions. To get to the water blockage, you might try to go through the door up there. Good luck. But before we check out the door, I want to check out this path. Ah! This is back to the village. That's cool. Now, now, I con now I'm connected. Now I don't have to run around. Okay, nothing in this cave. Again, I think I've mentioned it, but I'm a big fan of those kind of games. Okay, here goes nothing. Run! Ah, that was a close one. Great job! Can I go into the water? I cannot. Will they give me like some uh, some swim equipment? Because I can't reach sewer. Hey dragon, I got your... What is that you need? You did it. My sources tell me that you got the job done. We did it. There were boulders blocking the water, but we cleared them out. Impressive. Well, now that things are in order, I think I should uphold my end of the bargain. One moment, please. Ooh, fancy. Well done. Here you go. You received dragon ash. See you. See to it that Kazuko grows that flower to its fullest potential. It means a lot to her, you know? Tell me, chat. Do you know why Kazuko is growing a 
Hikaribana. I'm not sure. Here in the forest, the Hikaribana is a symbol of great love. They say it has the power to bring loved ones together. To heal, to bond, to help find someone who has been lost. Oh. Perhaps Kazuko is trying to remind her husband of their love, for she feels he has forgotten her. He hasn't forgotten her. He mentions her all the time. Yes, but she does not know that they have not spoken in ages. They haven't? Kizaburo's sickness has weakened his mind. He is disoriented. He can't tell the day from night. His speech is nonsensical. It's amazing that he's able to communicate with each other. I see. That's why it's a, it is a noble thing you are doing, helping someone who cannot reach out themselves. Good luck and may you find your own path to happiness as well. Thank you, Stormy. I like Stormy. Storm is a good dragon. Da, da, da. Now we got everything. I forgot her voice again. Thanks so much for your help. We showed you tea. How did it go? It went great. They all laughed. Welcome and... To what do I owe a pleasure of a visit from Rupert? Milady the monster sends his highest regards. He loved the sample of the tea you gave him. We all did it. That is wonderful to hear. If it's all right with you, the monster would like to place a rather large order within the coming week. Of course, it is all right with me. I will begin preparations immediately. You are always welcome to join us for afternoon tea in the Skylands. As soon as I have free time, I would love to join all of you. Thank you. Thank you so much for your help. I am more confident now that folks around the forest will know of the Midnight Tea Shop. You, you, you deserve it. Uh, we got the Dragon Ash. Oh, you got the Dragon Ash. Thank you so much. Well then, I think it's time for me to visit Kisabura at the hot spring. Now that the Hikaribana has some dragon ash to help it bloom, perhaps I can finally bring it to him as a gift. Oh, he's gonna love that. Actually, on second thought, why don't we all go together? I'm sure that my husband will want to want personal thank you both for helping us out with the shop. That sounds great. Alright then, let's go. I don't know if that's a fitting voice. I know I gave her an okay voice in the first... Oh. Oh, goodness. Where did he go? Kisaburo. Kisaburo, where are you? I'm so sorry, too. I was hoping we could all spend some time together with Kisaburo, but... I'm honestly not sure where he went. I'm going to look for him, so please feel free to do whatever you would like. Thanks again for all your help. Mm -hmm. Oh, and now it starts. Kisabu's chapter. Mom, look! You found another door! Where do you think it leads? Hmm... Only one way to find out. Hmm. And now we have to do a uh, puzzle stuff again. Right? Or, or am I wrong? Oh! Hey Kazuko, it's good to see you again. Those homemade cream puffs you brought last time were out of this world. Okay. Oh hey Kazuko, thanks for drawing with me last time, that was so much fun. Good morning Kazuko, if you're looking for your husband, do I believe he's back in his room? Which is good.
Katsuka. The tips you gave really worked. My little lemon tree is healthier than ever. How are you looking for Kizuburo? I think they brought him back to his room about an hour ago. Kizaburo, can you tell me what year it is? I didn't have time for this. I have to fix this order before my supervisor gets back. Kizaburo, I want you to try to focus on my voice. Can you tell me where you're right now? What kind of question is that? I have to fix the power lines. <sighs> I think we're gonna have to run some more tests. I'll set something up with the lab this afternoon. Sounds good. Are you just gonna keep taking my tools away from me? <sighs> oh, they, they didn't even realize. Hello, dear. I brought you some of your favorite snacks. I thought it might help, so... Who are you? Unauthorized people aren't supposed to be here. It's dangerous. Oh, Kisaburo. It's me. It's your Kazuko. Did the supervisor send you? Are you here to cover the night shift? Uh. Mm. Poor Kazuko. Kisaburo. Do you remember this flower? We really don't have much time. If I don't get the power back up, the boss is not gonna be happy. You don't remember, do you? Damn. Now we're in Kisaburo's room. Oh! It's that young Kisaburo. Hey, Kisaburo. You've certainly been visiting a lot these days. Who, me? Uh, I, uh... Now because of this woman there. <laughs> <laughs> I just really like the bread. <laughs> sure, sure. Whatever you say, buddy. Mise Kazuko, these desserts are lovely. Thank you. Please let me know if you need anything else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop it, Nobu. She'll hear you. Well, what are you waiting for? I don't know what kind of voice I want to give. Go talk to her. I'm going, I'm going. gonna backpedal, he's gonna run away. I am... Oh, hello, Kisaburo. Uh, Kazuko, oh wow, I didn't know you were working today. Ah. Mm. Well, um... We have some new red bean manchu if you'd like to try them. Oh, I'd love to. Kisaburo? Oh, sorry, I just... I just... I brought you a gift. A <gasps> uh, gift? That is so nice of you. Okay, close your eyes. Alright, you can open them now. <gasps> Kisabura, how lovely. A beautiful flower. For a beautiful lady. Ah, <gasps> oh, you're such a smooth talker. I am not just being smooth. So smooth. <laughs> I really mean it. I would bring you flowers until we were old and grey and couldn't remember things anymore. Is that so? I'm certain of it. Give him a break, Kazuko. The poor guy was pacing outside for 20 minutes before he came in here. Nobu! Ah, oh, you poor thing, you must be so thirsty. I'll bring you some tea to go with the dessert. Well, I definitely can't say no to that. Ah, uh, that is so cute. That is so cute. Kisaburo, dinner's ready. 
I just put the baby down for a nap so we can have a bit of a quiet time. Kazuko! You only get one day off, but you still work so hard on the garden. What are you planting out here? Is it those radish you got from the... Oh yeah! <gasps> Did you plant all these? Well, I... Yep. <laughs> those flowers... Do you like them? <gasps> That's the flower you gave me when I worked at the bakery. Oh, Kisabura, of course I like them. I can't believe you remembered. <laughs> I'm yours, Kazuko. I always will be. That is so cute. I want to pinch his cheeks. The flowers are in bloom again. Who are they? Ma'am, are you still here? Mom, you must be exhausted. You need to go home and get some rest. The doctor should call you if anything urgent happens. I'm not leaving. Then at the very least, will you please eat something? I will. We are going to go turn in some of the paperwork. Mom. It's gonna be okay. I know. I just need some time with him, that's all. Call us if you need anything. <laughs> I will. That is so messed up. Why would I give them voices like that? I'm sorry. Ah, oh, Kisabura, is there any of you left in here? A tiny bit, most likely. Oh, he's old now. Ancient date! His voice changed probably like 20 times. Dear, I brought you some water to help you cool down. You have been working so hard in your garden that... Kisabura? 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 Can you hear me? Kazuko! Get some rest, my dear. I think the baby's crying. It might be time to change his diaper. What? The baby. Don't you hear that? Honey. Our babies are all grown up. Huh? Right, all grown up. Try to get some sleep. And then she brought him to the hospital. Kisaburo. Kisaburo, why are you dear? Kisaburo, what's going on in there? They're closing in on us! Kisaburo, what are you doing? Hey you! Why are you still here? We have been dismissed! Can't you see we are under attack? Kisaburo, please get off the table. You're gonna hurt yourself. What's going on in here? The supervisor gave us all orders to leave. We have to go now! Dad, what are you doing? Go get help. I will try to stop him from breaking anything else. Mom, it's not safe for you. I will be fine. Just go. Ma'am, I know you want to care for your husband, but at this point he's a danger to you. I'm not afraid of my husband. Ma'am, you can't do this by yourself. Rico's right. That needs constant supervision. It's just too much for you, ma'am. <sighs> when he could still talk with me. He told me that if he got worse, he would prefer to stay in his own home. I just want to honor that. Man. 
I don't mind staying up all night. I can prepare all the meals in advance and make sure to. Um, Dad doesn't even remember you. Ouch. <sighs> I'm sorry, Mom. It's just this is better for both of you if Dad doesn't stay here anymore. I know, you're right. Okay. We can move him in the morning. Wow. Kisaburo. What's it like in there? Inside your head, I mean. Are you scared? Do you feel any pain? Do you still remember anything about yourself or about your life before all this happened? Please, tell me you remember something. Anything. Thought. I could have sworn that Dora was boarded up when I got here. Kazuko! Where could he have gone? Huh? Oh, now it's flying away. And he's never seen it. Oof. That must be so tough. Now, I have to find him. And she's just jumping into the water and... I mean, isn't she like a lizard in this? In this world? She seems like a lizard, right? Oh... Kisaburo! Oh, Kisapura, I was so worried. I looked everywhere for you and I... Oh my goodness. Did you plant all of these? Well, I am. Um... Yep. Oh, Kisapura. Do you like them? Of course I do. They're gonna sing again. Let's see who is gonna sing now. My love, oh my only, you're everything to me. I have tried. what you need sometimes it may seem i'm a million miles away but my dear i've been here and always will be
You received Mori no Kokoro part 3. Holy, this voice gave me goosebumps everywhere. Wow. Ooh. Oh. That is, that's a sweet, sweet voice. Oh, and then they... Oh. And then we have two more now. So we have Sue. That would make sense. We have now Sue. And then we have Yami. I just wanted to thank you both again. Times have been tough, but I'm going to try my best every day. We have a saying in the world of tea. One time, one meeting. Basically, this could be the first and last time we ever meet. The first and last chance. The first and last moment. So let's make it the best. Make it the best it can be. Hmm. Take care, my friends. Mom, there's a door in the tea shop. I wonder if this one leads back to the hospital. Let's go check it out. Wow, there's doors everywhere. It's Umma. Do 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 the pipe the big pipes connected to the small pipe. The small pipes connected to the big train. Do de do. The big train's connected to the Oh, hey guys! Hi, Uma. What is that thing? Oh, you mean this thing? It's a water pump. They used them to drain the water back when the lower floors in the hospital got flooded after the... Well, you know... Yeah... There's a few more around here. I'm trying to find them. Why are you looking for them? I like you, kid, so I'm gonna be real with you. Huh. We both know there is something special about this place. I have seen you watering random plants, making the beanstalk grow, talking to bears and water people. How did you know? These worlds are connected. You know, this as well as I do. These devices, they seem to drain more than just the water that used to be here in the hospital. Why don't you try it? Maybe it will open some new paths for you on the other side. Mmm, the path with Sue. Oh, ma. Yeah, kid. Why do you keep helping me? Even after I... Well... After I accused you of doing bad things that you didn't even do. Yeah, kid. I don't hold that against you. I would have thought those things about me too, if I were you. Uh, We've all been given our own challenges. Sometimes while we are working them out, our paths will collide with others who are working on challenges of their own. We help each other more than we know. Hmm. It's time for me to go now. I think my time's running out. <laughs> but you hang in there, okay? Okay. Turn on the water pump to start draining the water, yes. You found 25G. There is a mirror. Can I put some water in my bucket? Yes, we just take them for this. You found the little bus remix CD. Damn. Oh, that's it? Let's see if we can uh, get another one. Okay. In case we need it. So, where do we end up now? Back in the forest, right? And the t shirt. What is with this dog though? Pucci. Pucci doesn't want to talk to me. Are you guys gone? Hey, you guys are gone. Okay, we're gonna go back to the hospital.
Okay, so now we can go to uh, to Sue's chapter, right? But before we continue with Sue's chapter, who are you actually? Who are you Winston? All right. But before we continue with Sue's chapter and we ask her about the marbles, because we found more marbles, um. We're gonna stop here and next time we're gonna continue most likely with Sue's story and then with Yummy's because that would m make the most sense. I'm actually interested for Yummy's story the most but still so far this game has been a blessing. Amazing. Good job. The singing. Mm, love it. Love it. But yeah without further ado let's end this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Ferris Ferran out. Until next time. Bye.